What is up everybody and welcome back to another episode of Ford Era. Today I am in Atlanta, just flew in for the weekend and my first stop was to come here and hang out with Bennett here at P15. How's it going? What up dude? Welcome to the shop guys, or welcome back I should say. Lots changed, uh, same trucks but they really have uh, come a long way since you've been here last time. Hell yeah, dude. I always love coming, checking out. So I'm actually in town. Um, this weekend is uh, Street Trucks Magazine Show Off Series 3. I'm one of the judges for the uh, awards which for the trucks. So I came in a couple days early so we could kick it, give you guys a video coming over here. And uh, right now they're prepping Montana to take out. So what all of you guys uh, been doing to her lately? All right, so we just finished up some uh, power windows on it and some power door locks. Um, got that all working perfectly now. We just finished up our own custom door panels. I love the way those turned out. Dude. Um, in the future, we'll be offering these with different back trims and different options for people. So, bump side owners, keep your eyes out. Heck yeah. Good stuff. Heck yeah. So, um, right now, I think we're going to go run around. We got to pick up. He got a new bench seat made for Montana and a couple other stuff. So, we're going to run around. going to bring you guys with us. And uh, I'll see you in the next clip. So Bennett said we're going to take the Icon out, so he's going to get her warmed up, and then we're going to have some fun driving this thing around. I freaking love this truck so much. And we are at Kato's Customs here in beautiful Atlanta, Georgia. What up, dude? What up, everybody? Atlanta, beautiful right now? Mm -mm. It's cold. It's cold. Yeah, it's cold. But it's supposed to be like 70 tomorrow, so I'll be in shorts again. Nice. Can Mostly Daisy that? Dukes, but I can't wait to see it. Yeah, I'll send you pictures. Perfect. <laughs> so uh, what all gets done around here, dude? Uh, we call it the magic box because that's what we do. We just put our hand in a little box and we pull out magic stuff like this seat. Voila! Look at that. <laughs> right out the box. Dude, this thing turned out so killer. This is for Montana, one of Bennett's trucks. Yeah. So badass. And it's super comfy. Oh yeah, we sat on it. We yeah, so if you watch the video that Rick and I hacked your GoPro with, you'll see that I, and Rick, you'll just have to watch and find out. Yeah, but so it, unfortunately there's no audio. They didn't realize I had mics now. Damn it. So it is what it is, but we'll have funny videos at least and I'll overlay it with some Nice music. Right, yeah. And yeah. Or you could like just auto talk to us, you know? I'll, yeah, I, you're right. I can f assume what you were saying and I'll just voice over it. Right, there you go. We could do something. Anything. Yeah. I'm okay with it. You can use it. Hey guys, my name's Rick. I'm Kato. And uh, here's my shop. I found Solomon's camera. And I didn't know that I needed to press the mic to turn it on. But here's a seat that I just finished oh, it's for Bennett. It's pretty badass. It's uh, more in Gill's leather with some custom inserts. Rick, go sit on there. Oh man, that's comfy right there. Man, that's a comfy seat. It's better than the one you made for my truck. You need to come over here and you need to test it out, dude. I'm telling you, it's pretty comfy. All right. Ooh, yeah, that's comfy. Get over here, boy. Oh man, what a comfy seat. So over here, we you know made the foam fancy and that's why we're sitting on it. It's kind of awkward, but it's cold outside, so hell, stay warm. All right, let's get off of here. All right, so let's show them some of these cool 3D printed, or actually, this is routered out foam, and I'm making my own really cool door pulls. So these are going to be two piece. I'm explaining what they are. Basically, you could see two pieces. That way, you can wrap the top and the bottom separately, and uh, they're way more rigid and badass than the other ones. Oh, look, Solomon's here. What up, Solomon? Look, we took your camera. What's up, what's up? Did you guys uh, press the mic button? No? Hell yeah. So, I'm cool, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you guys are picking up the seat. Bennett, I'm happy. Like, I love doing work for you guys. Do some killer stuff. If you don't follow, go check it out. But anyway, so the shop is the shop. It's kind of a mess. We have a lot of projects going on right now. Um, got some stuff going up to Illinois that we need to finish by Saturday. And today is Thursday. So it's getting sewn up and then the door panels are all here wrapped just for waiting on some perforated leather because we're getting it lasered. Oh wow. One thing we don't have a shop is a stinking laser beam. Go figure, right? Laser beam. I know. Laser. 
One million dollars. <laughs> um, I was talking all over this thing right here. You guys yeah. did such a good job. So this was built by uh, Metal Union. It's a 40 Ford. It's a customer of theirs. It's a pretty, pretty wild build. It's so nice. Uh, and this coyote. I know, right? Oh my god. It's so uh, sick. So beautiful. Yeah. Like beautiful, like when you get married and your wife is standing there, like sometimes, you know, like us car guys, like, oh, look at my new coyote. We're married now, right? 100%. 100%. I mean, I would marry that coyote. Right. Then we got a J10 Jeep truck. Sorry, it's dusty. We just don't, we blow them off here. We don't clean them off because we'll mess up people's paint. Yeah. And so it's got an LS in it. It's called its crawler hauler. So he goes out to Moab and places like that. So he's going to haul his badass Jeep he has. Nice. Which is killer. pretty killer. Dude, that's rad. Right. And we got a little Model A in here, LS in it. For all you purist Ford guys, sorry, but an LS is a great motor. It is a great you know? motor. It's affordable. Built Ford tough with Chevy stuff. Right. Isn't that the saying? It is. Got a big old 55 Chevy under here that's uh, customer. Got a big blower motor. Uh, actually, I'm going to show it to you. I don't know why. That was him, by the way. He set that on his car because hmm. he was here yesterday. But, uh, I'll show you right there. Oh, that's a pretty color. Oh, wow. Shit. Whoa. Holy crap. Big yeah. Big old big block. Yeah. She's a big girl. That's how you do it right there. Dude, this I mean, thing is beautiful. It's like Sir Mix a lot. Baby got back, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but it's cool. All right, come on, let's go for the more. More of the cool stuff. I know. We got stuff getting set up because we're having a class in January, a seat building here at my shop. So we got sewing machines. I love the info. Maybe they want to Yeah, so the January 14th, 15th, and 16th, we're having a seat building class here. We're going to learn how to build a seat, the foam, the base, everything. We're going to teach pattern making, sewing up leather covers, how to install them different ways. So it's a super informative class. We did it all last year too, uh, out at Utah, at a Kindiga shop with Justin out of JS Interiors. And so we just teach it together. And so he's coming out here. Nice. So Where can people go if they want to sign up? Uh, just hit me up on Instagram. That's where it's at right now. We're kind of unofficial, official on it. Mm. Which is easier. We can have a website, but I kind of like people writing me instead of a little bit more personal i feel and then we send a mass email out obviously with more information and things but nice. it's fun we have some more stuff for bennett going on here Woo. some uh blazer seats in the in the making so if people don't understand what that means in the process what exactly does it take to make this happen oh my gosh hours and hours of work is what it took so these seats originally um Rick, you want to have him turn that radio down for me, please? While we're listening to some uh, some JB, um, but not Justin Bieber, James Brown. I think I can say that, right? The original JB. Yeah, the original JB. He's got better moves. He does. So, but these originally the foam in these seats are infused into the the frame of these seats. So we have to take them and painstakingly cut it out and then strip it all off and then kind of take that, wire wheel it, clean it, strip all the old rust off, paint these, and then kind of go from there at that point. So we need to make some, some bases for these seats, which are, you can kind of see under here, this wood base here, but this spring here is to allow you to sink in the seat. So if you ever sit on a boat seat and you sit down, it's like sitting on a brick, this, won't be like sitting on a brick. It's, it's squishy for your tushy is what I like to say. There you go. It's, they're super comfortable. It's good foam, all that good stuff. And then at that point, it's just hours and hours of work. Making it. Yeah. Yeah, shaping it. And right. It's not like what you see on TV, you know? When we did that stuff on TV, it was worth working 18, 20 hour days. Yeah, and to show two seconds. Yeah, exactly. And you've got a week, you know, of, of work that they spin down to like 10 minutes. And it's. I can vouch for the seats. They're awesome. Yeah. I love my seat. <laughs> exactly. Is Rick it cushy now. for your tushy? Is it cushy for my tushy also? I know. So we can, I have one for Sarah. It's, it's in a make down yep. there. Nice. 
Oh, yeah. Someone wants a bench seat. Bench seat, yeah, seat 10, bench seat. We've got these seats are heading up to Illinois. These were Chrysler 200 seats that are heavily modified. Um, picked a headrest off, recessed a headrest. We CNC routered and designed all that to go in here. Um, but still have the seat belt in it because he wanted a seat belt in the car, obviously, because the old Chevelles, you know, they didn't have them. You know, that shoulder belt. Yeah. So when you put a thousand horse in a car, you kind of want to be a little safe, you know what I mean? So Sometimes. Exactly. Me, I like seat belts, so. Um, responsible adults. I mean, depends. You talk you're, to my you're wife. You're responsible with other stuff. Right, yeah. My wife is responsible. Seat belts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we get cons these are the consoles we sell these are just these are straight off the router right now um they get wrapped and stuff we've got a whole section in the other shop that's full of c10 door parts and all that it's all set in place over there sweet and then you guys talked to fuller earlier yeah, right did he give you a big tour everything then i'm not showing you that no nope. he show you the 3d printer room he did see now you don't have to see that either yeah so here is the 3D room. Unfortunately, mics weren't on for this entire tour, but this is actually a gas tank that he's 3D printing. It's about a week long print. He's explaining how difficult the print is and how long it's taking and how cool their 3D printer is. And uh, then on the other side, they've got another 3D printer and they also have that little one. Which is awesome. But you saw the big tank that's being printed in there and all the cool stuff that goes on. Dude, so, that, that tank's nuts. Yeah, it's huge. Yeah. And I have a printer that size to print it. Yeah. Insane. But that's about it, really. I mean, it's pretty basic. We keep it just slim picking. Like I said, I'm sorry it's a mess. We just have so much going on this week. Yeah, but when it's too clean, it's like, are they getting any work done? At least if it's a mess, you know they're getting work done. Right, but I'm picky about cleanliness, so it's driving me nuts. <laughs> <laughs> but... I um, so what's on that side of the shop? So that's Fuller's final assembly area. He didn't show us that side. Oh, come on. I can show you that he side. He was like, oh, that's Kato's side. Oh, is that how he feels about me? I guess. That's sorry, son of a beep. <laughs> but C10 seat, waiting to be delivered. Just waiting on the customer to come pick it up. A couple motors over there. The, this is just an old Hemi. I just liked it, so it's really just art. And then this one is going in my 32 Roadster here. Ooh, hell yeah. So, slowly picking away at that. I don't know what Wes and them are doing, but they're on the phone, but... Hey, Wes and Ralph. It's okay. Oh, they're on the phone, yeah. Yeah, say hi. Look, look at that, Hey, That's your good old buddy, old pal. Hey, Uncle Tom. Hi, hey, bud. I'm videoing it. I'll call you in a minute. <laughs> so, I love you too, Uncle Tom. But that's Ralph and Wes. They do all the final assembly. Like the brains behind the operation really come from those two guys. It's super smart. Um, when it comes to electronics, wiring, Pretty much anything that most people can't figure out, those two guys will figure it out. Hell yeah. And Ralph is only 19. Wow. And so, which is even more impressive. He's saying nice things, don't worry. Yeah. And he's just overly handsome. I, I say he looks like a Roman god. I'm talking about Ralph. Yes. Wes, you look like... Wes? <laughs> but in a good way. So, What do you got going on here, Wes? Tell us about this. We gotta come closer so the mic can hear you. We got it's a Studebaker um, V8 out of a sedan that it's got EFI um, supercharger. It's been converted. It's not a. It used to be variable, but we're it's now fixed. It should only make about five psi. Um, but set up behind a T5. Got just doing all the wiring, getting the gauges set up, laying the dash out. Um, should just be a good little daily driver farm truck for this guy. It looks like it will so, be. Yeah, it'll be a lot of fun. That's a hell of a farm truck if I've ever seen yeah, one. Yeah, I know. Are you guys going to fire it up soon? I see you got a yes. battery hooked up to yeah, it. Yeah, that's the. Uh, we're going to disconnect the supercharger and then hopefully get it popped off and then start tuning it. I'm really excited to hear this. Yeah, this thing's yeah, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome. Really cool. The charger. Yeah, the so charger's sweet. insane. Yeah. Getting this thing all kind of wrapped up. Kato's bouncing it back and forth between the two of us. He's getting the 
trunk laid out and then getting some tuning stuff worked on it. Show me your film. Um, the 440 that's been punched out and uh, it's got sniper EFI on it and front runner kit. Sweet. It's a nice well, little car. What we got outside? Anything cool? Uh, just whatever you saw earlier. Yeah, did you, did you see the scout? Yeah, we saw his side. Yeah, did you see uh, Rick C10? Have you seen Never Rick seen C10? it. You've never seen Rick No. Uh, come on, let's what go. What is it, a Chevy? <laughs> I mean, I call it a Bronco. Rick always gets mad at me. I was oh, like, oh, you're bringing your Bronco? And it's just not a Bronco. What we're talking about is Blazer, I guess, because Rick's got some uh, badass toys, too. <laughs> come on, Rick. Let's see you, buddy. I love Rick's truck. I, I met Rick because he wanted a seat done back when I first moved here. And uh, we've just been friends ever since. Just kind of kicked it off and he romanced me. And that's the end of the story. Just can't get him to leave you alone, but you don't want to say that. That's what you're saying, right? What's that? Just can't get him to leave you alone, but you won't, you don't want to say it. I mean, I, I kind of stalk him too. Oh, so it goes it's both the beard, ways. right? <laughs> yes. It has yeah. to be. And his great uh, square body uh, gear he sells too. So. Oh, yeah. It's a little dirty in there right now, but... What you're saying is it's a drive. truck you drive? Yeah, Rick, you don't even have a... You drive this every day. Just about. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it wasn't here when we pulled up. Yeah, it's, so it's done. Yeah. Sweet. It's sweet. Rick, has this been painted? Yeah. Okay. I know you had it ceramic the white, coated. The white was... Uh, yeah, the white was is, was painted at some point, which okay. didn't do a very good job, but the red's original. That's yeah. cool. Hell yeah. Yeah. Just enough to tune on that. But. Well, now, let me know where they could check you out. Uh, at Cato's Custom Upholstery on Instagram and Facebook, I'm kind of yeah. bare bones on. I got enough to do, so check it out on Instagram. Come hang out with us. Give us a follow and, you know, enjoy watching. There you go. All right, so we just came over here to Fuller Moto and Cato's. We picked up this seat, and now we're going to be heading to get the next place. See you there. All right, so we just got back over here to P15. Picked up this seat, dude. It turned out so badass. Amazing. So amazing. now take this seat out, get that one in there. Shout out to Kato right. for absolutely killing it. Yeah, that's what's up. Woo! That's looking fresh. Whole change up. Kato, you killed it on it, man. That is just. That's gonna set the that, tone that, for Montana. We need to get the steering wheel wrapped. Yeah, we need to wrap the steering wheel. Maybe a little. All right, guys. So I'm over here hanging out at P15, and Colin and Carter stopped by because they wanted me to check this out, and they also wanted to show it to Bennett, check the whole place out. So, dude, tell me a little bit about this thing. So it's a 1976 Ford F-150 uh, 4x4 360 um, C6 automatic. Um, so it used to be blue and white. Okay. So the cab, I bought it. And just like this, the owner, previous owner, pulled everything off except the cab. He okay. bought like a custom um, work truck with no rust. I mean, you can feel underneath it; it's just straight. Perfect. So it's it's pretty clean body wise. The only thing missing is the uh, tailgate. Okay. Everyone calls it a wagon wheel, like a covered wagon, because it looks like it's wooden. That does kind of. It's a joke with that, but um, it's an F-150, so it's on a four-inch lift to make it look like a highway. Yeah. Um, 35s. I've done uh, disc brakes on the back, nice. so it stops. So it's, did you do a lot of the work on here? Yeah, I've done a lot of it myself, and some of it, I don't know how to weld yet. I'm okay. trying to learn. But I redid the whole interior, reupholstered the vent seat. Um, if you want to see the dashboard, it's... How old are you, dude? I'm 17. He's 17. You say you're a senior in high school. Senior in high school, yeah. I'm studying for exams next week. <laughs> um, if you look at the dashboard, you can Oh, uh, nice. See you need teletronics? That. Yeah. Heck yeah. And then uh, you yeah. can hit that, the third switch to the left. Uh, that's my favorite this feature. One? Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, on the left. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Dude, you got, you got me. You got me. That was good. Yeah. That definitely is a good feature. Horn blasters. Driving every day in Atlanta traffic, it's 15 miles from our house to school. So electric fans and a trending horn, got to have that for Atlanta traffic. And you get to piss off all the girls in school that probably oh, don't so talk funny. to you or whatever, Everyone right? jumps when you hit it. You um, get, dude, horn blasters are literally the most fun thing you could ever I have. I, I was driving around campus yesterday and I saw some kids walking to PE. <sighs> hit them with I, it. They jumped. Oh, yeah. Funny. Um, oh, yeah. Under the hood, it's a 360. 
But um, I've done a four barrel intake with, um, I think a 600 CFM Holly Carb. I did the HCI distributor on the ignition box. It's just there, but it kept breaking on me. So I finally bought a new distributor. Man, I'm really happy to see, cause there's so many kids now, all they want is a new Honda or no. whatever it is. And I like that there's still a couple good old boys that want old Ford trucks. And yeah, I like a new F250, but gotta save up a little bit more for that yeah so i have a 390 um out of a 67 galaxy being built right now mm -hmm. so i'm gonna pull this out swap the 390 in a little bit more fun. Be fun but uh i mean i have headers the four barrel intake so it's just plug and play with all this stuff dude that's super cool so, let everybody know what your instagram is so they can check you out um it's 76 f150 underscore juanita it's a sticker on my back if you want to look at it man this is rad yeah, it's it's fun. You get a lot of looks driving this around in Atlanta. I appreciate you bringing it by so I could check it out. Oh yeah, thank, thank you. you. It was great to meet you. Yep, nice to meet you. I'll catch you guys around. Yep, see, see you later, you. dude. All right, guys. So this is where I'm gonna end this video. I didn't do a tour yet with uh, Bennett, but I want to make a full shop tour with it. So that'll be probably the next video. So if you guys enjoyed the video, as always, if you can, smash that like button. Have any questions, comments, drop it down below. Also, let me know what you thought was one of the cooler things you saw in this video. And uh, if you enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. If you want to get some cool merch, I got hats, shirts, all types of stuff. Head over to FordArrow.com, and we'll see you in the next one. Taking Montana home for the night. It's going to be pretty awesome. Love this truck.